years. That's how long I had to try to finally land one of these big, beautiful fish. take you right back to the beginning and I'll tell you the whole story. So I always knew that threadfin salmon inhabited the Brisbane River which is near where I live um, but even though they were so close to home they felt so out of reach for me to catch. So how I got involved with fishing for threadfin is um, I just finished school and I started seeing all these posts on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook of people catching these big threadfin salmon. They were even doing it land-based in places that I knew and that I could fish. Oh, look at that. It's a meter! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. He's a big fish. Yeah! <laughs> Now, seeing all these fish landed, um, seeing all these photos and videos made it look so easy, so I thought, I'll go try that. Anyway, my brother and I went to try a spot I'd researched on the Brisbane River, a land-based spot, and you wouldn't read about it, but we hooked up on our first attempt. That's the circle to it. Yeah. I reckon... Oh. We're on to something. Oh. It's going. It's going. It's going. What is it? It's on the surface. It's going to be a shark or something. Get that other line in, Matt. I want to just see it at least. Yeah, it's got some big head shakes, you know. It's going, mate. It's got some big head shakes. heavy it's a good fish oh it's a shark I think no it could be a big thready here Matt Dude. I just saw a flash and it was yellow so yeah same I saw that yellow look it's coming right in it's a thready it's off no you b oh and you know what that was a big one I saw it too it came right in close it took the hook it's chafed me off Chafed me off. Yep, it rubbed through my 20 pound leader. They have really rough mouths. I love the fight so much. I was addicted straight away and I told myself, you know, you've got to land one of these. You've got to keep trying. So I did, but that's when I realized it wasn't going to be as easy as I first thought. I was determined. I tried some new spots, new techniques, and I put in some really, really big efforts and long nights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's currently 1.42 a.m. on a weeknight. I've lost count how many trips I've done, but it's another cold, fishless night targeting Threadfin on the Brisbane River. Let's go get some sleep. Time to get home to bed. And honestly, I was starting to get pretty frustrated. I was determined though. I was not going to stop until I landed one of these big fish. So this sort of thing was going on over about three years. You know, seeing people catch them, trying myself, and not having much success. At this stage, I was getting pretty desperate. I really, really wanted to catch one. Um, so Dad and I took the boat out down to the, to the mouth of the river and tried to get one in the boat. Now, the trend continued. I didn't catch one, we didn't get one, but we saw a dead one floating and we got to see the sheer size of these fish and it just made me want to catch one even more. All right, people. So we were just standing around a bit, uh, trying to find a school of fish and we found one floating on the surface. Look at the size of that crab. See, it's caught in the side here and on the other side. And that thready is just choked, I think. Yeah, it's got a spike coming out here. Spike coming out here, spike on the other side. 
pole sand crab down the gob and uh, that thready, massive thready, has just bitten off more than it can chew. So in the last 12 months or so, I started seeing this guy on YouTube uh, called Briz Vegas Fishing. And it was a new channel that had just started up and he was catching all these big threadies, really good footage. I'm pretty sure I just commented on one of his videos actually. It was awesome to see him getting on some good ones. In the end, he ended up being a really great bloke. We started talking and he was nice enough to ask me to go out for a trip. Now around about the same time as this, I just got a brand new rod and reel from Cast King, an American brand just starting up in Australia. Now this rod was perfect for fishing with lures, uh, you can also use use bait with it as well and same with the reel and that helped a lot too because before that I didn't really have a sp specific rod for this sort of fishing. So I ended up taking him up on the kind offer and I went out for a trip with him and for starters we just we were sort of finding our feet a little bit. Hopefully some of you guys will recognize this face in the background. Uh, today I've teamed up with Josh from Briz Vegas Fishing so we got some hard bodies, some plastic so we'll see how we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll get straight into it. We actually saw some threadies and I did hook up at least. All right. Yep. Yeah. Flatty. Uh, I'll lift him in. Come here, buddy. Oh. Well then. I've been showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the expert uh, of these parts. Yeah. <laughs> you bring me out, I just catch all the fish. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. put all the details in the description for the casking rod and reel. And let's have a look at this uh, quite lure soft vibe in the mouth. Look at that. Absolutely crunched it. He did, eh? That's a nice fish. Send him on his way, hey? See you later. After that, we kept persisting, and on our third trip, we just had this really good feeling that something was going to happen. Alrighty, we're back out again. Oh, I thought you had one. <laughs> we're feeling uh, pretty confident tonight. He got some last night, and uh, yeah, just fingers crossed. It's a warm, muggy night. The water temp's right up. Maybe tonight's a night. I've been saying that for so long, though. Lost count of how many trips I've actually done. Imagine how many casts I've made. But um, fish yeah, cast. so, yeah, fish of a fish of a million casts. But, yeah, I'm here with Josh. Anyway, I'll start casting and yeah, hopefully we can get a few. One each will do. Yeah. <laughs> As the night went on, everything started to come alive. There was heaps of bait showing up, even some surface action up and down the river, and then Josh actually hooked one. So long story short. He dropped that one. I felt so bad for him. Um, but five minutes later, I was casting in the exact same area as him, and bang, I was hooked up to a thready. <laughs> I'll play that clip now. I do turn on a light, so the first probably five or 10 seconds is dark, and then after that, you can see the whole fight. So yeah, I'll play that now. I was holding me a rod in. Yep, got one. Um, it's just here, so. Come out this way, which is good. Just loosen off even a little bit more. Still got good pressure. What are you thinking? 
Oh yeah, we're drifting away. He's coming back in that way, isn't he? He's a good well, fish. He doesn't get you on me now. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big head shake. It makes you nervous, doesn't it? It does. <sighs> He's a good fish. He definitely is, mate. Oh. Here he comes. Got him? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> How good is that mate? Oh Josh. <laughs> oh my heart is in my mouth. That is sick. That is so sick. Oh thank you so much. <laughs> I thought I lost him at the end, then I Oh far out. <sighs> oh how good is that? First fish for the night. Pyra, doing the damage. How you feeling Will? Good. Better than I'm looking with all these cameras on, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you're still attractive oh. to me, mate. Oh, lovely. First ever thready. <laughs> that's a go. Oh, I can't believe it's in the net. As you can see, taking real care of it. Swimming them. They're a pretty fragile fish. So they're big fish, big strong fish, but they're fragile. And uh, they don't release well sometimes. So we're going to get some photos and everything, but First, we're taking care of it. Josh has given it a good swim. Not a bad first fish at that. No, <laughs> not a bad first fish. <laughs> Do you want me to hold that rod for a sec? Yeah, if that's all right, and then you can just, yeah, it just make sure you really support it and don't stretch the gills too much. So just thumb in mouth like that. Yeah, and just right underneath its belly there, yep. Oh, yes, look at that. That's sick. <laughs> How good is that? All right, let me turn that light around. We'll get a couple of photos oh, yeah. for you too. Oh, yeah. Let me get that light for you again. Yeah. There, there you go, go, everybody. I'm going to talk quick because we're going to get it back healthy. Josh has tagged it, but that's three years in the making. Beautiful threadfin salmon. I've been targeting them for so long, and thank you so much to you, Josh, for putting me onto it because I couldn't <laughs> have done it without you. All right. And the Cast King Sharky. Whoop. Whoop. All right. And Max Steel. We'll get it back. All right. Yep, that's good. Away. Look at down. that. Should be right whenever you're ready, mate. You reckon? Yeah. Wow. I'm still speechless about it after fishing for them for pretty much three years and, you know, putting in that much time and effort to finally have one in the net, it, did, it didn't even feel real. I'm obviously so appreciative of Josh from Bris Vegas Fishing. If you want to see some awesome action, go check out his channel because he does this sort of stuff all the time. Has some epic captures, and uh, you know he doesn't just do Brisbane. He does all of Southeast Queensland. He does reef fishing. He does all sorts of stuff. Uh, makes really good videos. So go check him out if you want to see more of this action and, and all sorts of stuff. It's really good. In fact, not so long ago, he caught 10 threadfin salmon in one night on surface lures. So, yeah, that says it all. So I must say a big thank you to Josh and a big thank you to Cast King as well. Uh, I couldn't have done it without that rod and reel, seriously. That helped so much and it was awesome during the fight. I'll leave the links for both of them down in the description, so go check them out. Thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate it and uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to that story and, and seeing the whole journey because it was a really big thing for me. Um, I put a lot of time and effort into it and finally got one. This isn't the end though. Josh and I are gonna do some more videos together and hopefully get some awesome fish. And I've also got a goal of landing a big one land based in Brisbane. So stay tuned for that, it'll, it'll happen. If you wanna check out more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, there's plenty more on the way. 
and I've already posted some pretty cool ones, I think, so check those out. Feel free to leave a comment and have a chat with us or, or ask any questions. I love getting to know you guys, and it's good having a little community that, you know, we can all chat together in the comments and stuff. Finally, if you really enjoyed it, uh, feel free to share it with your mates or, or share it on Facebook or something like that if you think someone else would like this video or get something out of it. Anyway, guys, tight lines. Thanks so much for watching. Um, go out there and get some yourself, and stay tuned for the videos in the future. See ya.